What is your story? And let me tell you something. Today I am seated in the presence of versatility. I'm seated in the presence of longevity. I'm seated in the presence of a queen. Kibua kama fake sabui kama mama matunyane. Tila kubisa na lena kabu tila baka ko bastieta moko letsedi mwe. Ah mama tila kero moko ena kere kile baka mena kane fa ukhane kwa tana kwa kwa koro tuko bana na lero. Kile baka tle kile baka la na kui lueno mpanyo na koro tuko baka tir. Tla tiki sima la kore you are one of the artists who literally do everything in the industry. And not only do you do everything in the industry, but you seem to be mastering everything that you are doing. Uh, I'm talking about the fact that you are an incredible vocalist, an actor, a theater maker. <laughs> I've always wanted to do as many things as possible. Mm -hmm. And that's because I've always believed that I'm multi-talented. Mm -hmm. And I've always loved singing. I've always loved writing. I've always loved acting. I've always loved directing. Mm -hmm. So as I grew up, I was like, oh, who says I just have to be an actor? Yeah. Why can't I just do all these things, right? But obviously the trick is that you can't just do a whole bunch of things and not be great at yeah. any of them. Yeah, isn't yeah. So so Linda, it's been a learning process. I've been growing. Yeah. You know, um, especially like with the writing. This is something that I really only fully immersed myself in Kabu twenty twelve for Hane Time Commissioner Kwale Play, which I wrote called Penny. Yeah. You know, um so that was like the birth of like, okay, you actually can do this thing. Yeah. You know, um, Believing in myself and having lots of dreams. Um, and I've always believed that, especially as an artist, we need things that will bring multiple streams of income. So that it's just not one thing, you know, but we can do our love and our art and still make money off of it. And that's not going to happen if you do just one thing. This amazing artist that you are, you yeah. can do something different. Okay, so... I okay. don't so, six years. I don't know what I'm doing. I preschool. It was a Bible story about these two women who and then yeah. they have to decide who the mother is and yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if you're familiar yeah, with that and I was story, hey, uh, hey. I it, yeah. and then my cousin and I were actually playing alongside that mm. and I mean in the in, 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 in that play and I was like oh this is this is so much fun mm. you know and um, and then I did another show it's in Ago, uh, Eden College mm. and I played a flower and I remember putting on this costume and feeling like this is the best thing in the world and I'm going to be the best flower they're ever going to have on that stage. And I think that feeling has never left me, the transformation of becoming something else or, 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 or trying to communicate other things through my own body, my own voice. So Gisimul Lutzi at a very young age and then my first professional gig, I got Kenali 14 years Tatam Sawawa 2, and that was like my television debut. And since then, I mean, in high school, I've done lots of plays, I directed plays, and my father was like, okay, since if that's the case, because he's also an actor and a director, yeah. he said, I would encourage you to go to school so that Oscar Nafela Ektara, but somebody who can actually speak back to their work. And he was explaining, they didn't have the opportunity to go study yeah. you know he applied for NSA Marnil now got the so bam reject so he wanted me to have a different understanding of art yeah. and acting and that so that every work I make is informed mm -hmm. you know and not just get yeah, that because homanati I'd like to congratulate you because of Mwahong or your own production company. So tell me what led to the decision and how important it is for you or your own production. Absolutely. Mm. So as artists, people call us whether it's Kiki Voice Over, Kwazak, Kokopoto Director Show, right? Last year, Kiki Kri Lekele Mo positioning in Longhore Nekesnatir from March until June. 
and I got very frustrated because I'm turning frustrated and more than anything in the Spana Moody Madi project that's about Tababa. Yeah. You know, um and in as much as I was a part of a sketch comedy group, A B Twang Thanks, um, as life would have it, people's focuses shift, yeah. priorities change. Obviously. And my priority was just still to act mm -hmm. and make work. Mm -hmm. So I then was like, you know what? I can't do this. Um, how can I be an artist when I don't own any of my work? Yeah. You know, so 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 that was very important for me to do. So uh and the music was also co-written and composed by Brahu Masekela. So yeah. that was a great honor to be a part of that. Beautiful. So from the money I made from that, I was like, I'm going to save this mm. and register my own company Similar and begin Kisimule Selen Saka. And uh, late, earlier this year, I debuted my first play under my uh, production company called Diko Date, which I also co-wrote, Lilili and Shabalala. Mm -hmm. And so Unlearn would be the second so offering. What is, what is the bigger vision? Is it MM Production, right? Yes, Momo Matsunyani Productions. Mm -hmm. What is the bigger vision, if you don't mind sharing it? Sure, us? sure. Um, and the whole point of it was that it will be a, a, a space where I can create, produce, and star in my own work, mm -hmm. right, as an actor. But under MMP, there's a whole lot of other things as well. Mm -hmm. I'm also a lecturer, a part-time lecturer. I teach acting and voice. Yeah. And um, But because it takes up a lot of my time, I then started something called Find Your Voice with Momo yeah. under my company, mm -hmm. in which Kefaba Ana mm -hmm. and uh, young adults or even corporate people who've needed my awesome. help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. and I've worked with them so I, I, I coach people in that aspect so I'm, I'm, I'm doing that my biggest biggest long term dream is to open up the Momo Matsunyani Academy of Arts and I want it to be free I want it to be in a place that does not have access to art. I want the children in those spaces and the young people there to really immerse themselves in an academy, three, four year course in Yana. It'll be the equivalent of a Vids University degree, but they wouldn't have had to pay and um, they can still travel the world and, and fulfill whatever artistic dreams that they have because studying is difficult. But I do believe that the artists need to be educated because so it's important but that's my long-term dream to it's create the academy it's definitely gonna happen it will your family seems to be like your biggest support ever. yes and uh, matter of fact your grandmother said Hore, for as long as she's still alive she's gonna make sure Hore will support her yeah. and she also spoke about the beautiful relationship that you guys have yes it is what will determine mm -hmm. in a huge way and not necessarily determine but it will influence how successful you become yeah you need it you need it you need it you need it, you need it. because my father my aunt my grandmother Baka to every single show. And since I was in high school, asking them, hey, can I perform at District 6? Seeing them in the audience yeah. gave me such strength because what that means is that they believe in me. Mm. And when they believe in me, there's no way that I cannot believe in myself and succeed. Obviously. You know, so you need to buy long hair, to buy a you know, to protect it. In your mind, reaffirm that you are worth it. Mm -hmm. You are worth it. And, and and my grandmother, as she even shared that night, yeah. the first play my father ever acted in was directed by my by grand. People awesome. like, well, uh, yeah. they grew up with my father. He mm. says he learned to catch Kobo Neo. That's awesome. So that's how instrumental my grandmother has been in my family in terms of being an artist and really creating. But of course, her path took a different way because she says in her day, being an artist was not even an option. No, so, no, Lise, yeah. I mean, she became a nurse, mm. you know. So, I think also vicariously, she lives through us, you know. Yeah, but yeah. support is absolutely important. And sometimes, some of my friends who don't have the same mm. support as the artist. And, and, and it's a bit disheartening. It's a bit disheartening because, Lena, it's a bit disheartening because, 
motlhomong am actually not meant to do this ke lakatso ka re batsadi ba bantsi ba ka tsaya from what you just told me ah pela re ke bua ka di production sa ga go ke e se o dumela gore ja ka mo mo batho ga ba setse ka wena hu mm that i've had to I've had to learn um how to not be very defensive. Mm-hmm. You know, I lost my mother at a very young age and no uh, Ronaldo dilotse dintse bana would say about my mom after she passed away. Mm-hmm. And um ke khotse ke sna ditsala because I had people in my life who just wanted to come to the house. Or by Losheva or Neomatsunyani Udulakai, Honsejang, Guntung, and the Babuela Goskolong, and Bababua. So I never really trusted people. Yeah. And as a result, I became very insecure. And then I would often shut everyone out. So Lumunga Har Mutomova Hong Correcta or Robata Negarai, Wabo, and just get out, get out of my life. I don't want anyone in my space. And now I mean when a friend of mine bariki to me motswatswe I get ke go kopane go vetse both of us were studying drama and she said to me after some time are we thinking ke abona gore ka re wang reject as a friend um I just want you to know that I'm not going to try anymore to be in your life because I feel like you're rejecting me so but know that I love you and how le ready for friendship ya ka o tla tla mo go nna And in that moment I realized that crap my insecurities about trusting people and friends because of all the betrayal I've experienced almost cost me the experience of something so special and so great and I was like no no you are a great You're friend for that and I'm call. so grateful because now I also I know who I want in my life mm-hmm. and I've been very great at discerning and choosing the people ก็อัลเลนเขาบอกว่าการอัลเลนเอ่อ Yeah. you know and um and also trying to unlearn how we can present this black female body mm-hmm. but also show people that we've become such a site of violence and how do we all as a society without antagonizing banna without mm-hmm. making it a woe is me kind of production mm-hmm. you know women no no i wanted us to really get to the nitty gritties and depression and anxiety Um, I I I suffer from my own uh, anxiety yeah. and so it was really important for me to create a piece of work that would speak back to the honesty of the challenges of being an artist so our protagonist uh, is a stand up comedian mm-hmm. or an, rather an aspiring stand up comedian yeah. but she also comes from a home that is very complicated mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, she developed these disorders on her own you know mm-hmm. Her mom is far this distance issues she feels very isolated and alone yeah. and these are feelings that I felt as well mm-hmm. and um I really wanted to create a play where we can talk about such issues mm-hmm. no one wants to talk about suicide no one wants to talk about depression yet in the past year now now in yeah. this year mm-hmm. 435 men But have committed suicide. Kind of suicide so i was like hey and some of them because we know them mm. you know baba ngwe ke bo whp baba ngwe bo ni kuma bo you know but bao ba itsegi so people are like us oh, the celebs but those 400 other men mm. who are they and who's telling their stories wa <laughs> tlhalogane and i've also found myself in positions where neke batla Yeah. you know because of whatever issues i was going through so and learn explores that it explores those mental illnesses <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's actually a daily struggle but go pelo tsong re felt tsala gore ra feng absolutely one of the things that came to my mind was the fact that almost 
rotle jaka sechaba re tlhoka go fola is there a way ona gana ng gore re ka re ka re ka idira especially for bana ba 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 le godikolo maybe a system re ka introduce gore bana ba fola before re ka nna le bana ba le gore they perpetuate violence mo ba sa dinga absolutely mm-hmm. absolutely i i've uh, more than really being passionate about acting mm-hmm. i believe so much in the power of art mm-hmm. as a tool for social change yeah and that's why i make the work that mm-hmm. i do whether i'm in the thanks ladies mm-hmm. and we are doing azania is 52 and we are talking and yeah. confronting about socio political issues tse dira gala mo mzantsi all my work has always been associated with a palette of change and using art as a tool for change yeah. and that's the power we have and it's unfortunate for uh, 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 our government you know uh, doesn't really see the potential of that and 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 um it's really undermined but more importantly it's because artists also are not taking responsibility for making sure that we are seen as that important mm. you know so so i believe that art can change the world you know and i was reading a meme the other day where before a child even learns to walk they dance you know before they talk ba ba opela you know so art is innate in us as human beings tata <laughs> and every night we are in people's living rooms ba re lebelletse yana that's how much we affect people ha go bona go strateng o go bitsa ka lina la gago la ko tv wa tlhologanya that's how much influence we have in society so i feel like artistically as a community we also just need to refocus and understand what kind of legacy we want to leave behind what kind of world what kind of a south africa at artistic uh, artistic wise mm. do we want to leave yeah. ro now we found an art that was protest that was fighting back to a system that was unjust so how do we take that legacy and go okay moving on 30 years from now bana ba leng kodi kolong gona no nyana ba tlo go tlobala ka yena wa tlhaloganya and 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 i mean we were fortunate the other day to have students 130 mm. students ba tla gang ko rastenbeke ko hemen tebe high school and uh, I mean it was incredible it's unfortunate that they had to leave after and so we, I couldn't engage Liboneka Q&A but just through the show how they were interacting what they were laughing at what what they weren't laughing at you know and and how and when they were uneasy how they navigated around that so it would talk what play a it would talk and I'm really hoping to tour it godi kolong Uh, and the reason it's so compact billion is that we want to create something that we can up and go yeah, and pop yeah, up yeah, you know yeah, and reach as many people as possible that would be awesome yeah you can say o lakatsang gore a male child can take out of this play highship nka rata gore the male children ba ipotse you know so many times in society we are complicit mm-hmm. when things happen around us whether motho ga tswarwa o go bo norte kwa you know ra e So we're also scared of our lives that none of us end up doing anything about it mm. right and i think even more so more than just the male child even the girl child where do we take part in those seeds the male child i think i would like him to reflect on himself before afika to the women or the young girl that he would like to share la I develle a as a young boy mm-hmm. and assess what kind of man he would like to be in society. Do you want to be the kind of man who's going to make someone feel unsafe? How feta aba fitla phone khotsa are you going to be the kind of man who when you see your friend ailing mustana about to pass out are you going to call her an uber home? Mm-hmm. Are you going to am I making sense? That's so I, I would like the young boys to really interrogate what kind of men they would like to be you know and and think about themselves in future as those men who are going to be custodians of other young girls yeah matter of fact there is a phrase on the show male feminist uh mm. the word feminist has a negative connotation to it uh i would like to know what is your definition of a feminist okay so in essence what and and it and it's quite surprising that over the years it's gotten such a bad kind of connotation because it's not um a feminist is someone who believes in the equal rights and equal treatment of women mm-hmm. and men in any whether it's a workspace or in the home so if you believe that a woman should get paid 
as much as a man for doing the same job. Mm -hmm. That makes you a feminist. Yeah, a it feminist. doesn't mean you are supporting some cause. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know what I'm saying. It's equal between men and women. And you find male feminists yeah. and men who support the idea. I mean, some of the cast, Yakobo, actors in uh, The Big Bang Theory, which mm -hmm. is an American comedy, yeah. they have, they, they, they had protested their female lead must get just as much money as they do. That's amazing. Those are male feminists, mm. men who understand the importance of having equal uh, uh, opportunities yeah. for men and women. And um, in the play, the character who mentions this is a cop who thinks male feminism is a sign of weakness, mm -hmm. and he's telling his uh, uh, co-worker, we're not male feminists, we're not control like Musad. Yeah. And those are often misconstrued. You mm -hmm. know, but to no, 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 no. It's not about that. As Munna, you mm -hmm. need to be fighting for my rights as much as I want you mm -hmm. to also be well. I mm -hmm. want you to also be at the forefront. I also want you to succeed mm -hmm. as a man. And I also want you to be a better man. Is there such thing as toxic femininity or an extremist feminist? I think it's relative. Mm -hmm. I think it's relative to each person's experience. Yeah. Um, it's been problematized in many ways. That some people are like, you are too extreme. It's like if someone says, you are pro-black, mm -hmm. and then perhaps how that might translate itself, you yeah, are racist or mm -hmm. anti-white, mm -hmm. right? So I think these things are very subjective. And, yeah. and the fact that trans yeah. Those are the things that confuse us even more mm -hmm. because how do we speak about those things without yeah. giving them names? But at the same time, those names yeah. can perpetuate certain ideologies. Yeah. I think essentially what is important from every single living human being in South Africa, it is to make an active contribution towards creating a safer space for everybody to live in. Mm -hmm for us to be conscious about each other. If you as, as a man understand that, here's a young lady, she's wearing a short skirt, she looks beautiful, and I actually don't even have to tell her. I don't have to impose my opinions as a man onto her body as she's walking past me. Yeah. If we can create a common vision for ourselves just as young people, more especially black people, because yeah. I feel like Mahoa, Limandia, they've kind of got themselves mm -hmm. sorted out. I'm not saying they don't kill, they don't rape, but I think as a race, as 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 Batuba Mo Africa, yeah, we need to have a common vision for our race and mm -hmm. what it is we want to achieve, you know. And the safety of women and children is at the heart of it. Mm -hmm. The the supporting of men. Yeah, men need strong support systems. Our black men don't know where to go mm -hmm. for help. And as a result, I feel like those things are translated onto us violently. Men need to create a community where they understand things like how patriarchy is dealing with women, yeah. things like how rape is not just something that's distant and that when you as men are together, when do you perpetuate rape culture? Lin mm. you know, I had a guy once say, he had a friend and there was a girl who passed and the friend said, I would rape that girl mm. they're still friends <laughs> so how how so when 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 how is the guy not saying even though he's like Ish, and now i realize uh -huh. but he's still friends with him so when do we as so when do the men support those things without yeah. realizing that you're supporting rape we have such conversation in the presence of Banababanyane. Absolutely. And obviously, okay, since this is the way of life. Just a beautiful message. Okay. Thank you. Firstly, before bom make yale bo Thank you for nagwa and and for us to have these very vital conversations. Yale bo khapapa. Bom me, you are enough. You're worthy. You don't need to sleep with anyone to be successful. You don't need to put yourself in compromising positions. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. 
So often as women, we find ourselves under pressure. We find having to do many things at the same time just so that we are okay. Um, and we end up having not a single person taking care of us. So protect yourselves, find strong support systems that you can lean on and women who can carry you um, through your downs and celebrate you in your ups. You are beautiful, you're worthy, and more importantly, you are enough as you are. Maletsa o montse mo mo pele ke tswalla gona le potso e ene ke lebetse go botsa yona. Ah do you feel gore batho ba bomme ah they should unlearn the phrase tsa go tsona le bo mosadi o tshwara tipa ka bogale eh o montse se fazana we in bogo do you do you think that it's time for women to unlearn such phrases? We have to. Yeah. We have to. Our parents were taught those things. Our mm-hmm. grandmothers were taught those things. My grandmother was born in 1942. That was just at the end of the Second World War. It's 2019, so she's seen this entire society evolve into what it is today. Yeah. But in the things that she says, those were things that she also, you know, Musadi, eh, komuts, Musadi, otsarati, bagafo bokhaling, and you realize how some of that stuff has desensitized us. And as 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 women, then it actually shows us how harna spaces are dila, bo munna ke selepe wa adimu. What are we perpetuating by saying those things? You know that men can. You know, you uh, you know he he can gallivant and 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 do whatever he wants. But my sexuality as a woman, I must constantly be aware of it. Those things we all need to unlearn them, and not just women, but men too. We need to unlearn that umfazi aksi imbogoto. Imbogoto is a rock. Lisuika fella. It's nothing that has no emotion. Mm-hmm. I I have emotion. On the other hand, when you throw me, I bleed. I cry. But to witness those things in your own family you grow up thinking that those things are fine so we all have a lot of things to unlearn men ask yourselves how you can be better men and where you can go for help and how, it's cool to be a cool guy mm-hmm. it's cool to be a nice guy with a great heart mm-hmm. it really is cool you know and we as women also need to unlearn what kind of vision do we want and how do we want to frame or ourselves as women as sexual being outside of relationships or even in relationships but also send men uh 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 um messages of support as well i feel like i think a lot of men feel unsupported by women mama thank you for this insight for organization yeah. uh mogai so let's all unlearn let's all like hold yalo but let's unlearn mogai so utlila mafoko aga momo ke so le fela gore ga o le monna le ga o le mosadi o utlila mafoko aga aga re tshwantse gore re tsena mo le gore re ithuta dilo tse dingwe sesho na ke tswalla ka gona lo ka libitso ke kabelo se gift ga ene ke le momo matsunyane Yep, 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 basic production, yep, 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 basic production.